Funko hates talent. Today, there was another layoff over at Funko. As of right now, we know that a lot of people internally have been laid off. I don't really know the specifics at the moment. I'm thinking within the next few days, we will learn a little bit more as to what went on today. Things are looking really rough for Funko. I mean, they're trying to cut costs, but they're laying their talent off. They've done mass layoffs multiple times recently. Things are not being managed properly. They're cutting corners at every turn and it is absolute bull How can this company continue on and be profitable and be popular again and capture all of our hearts if they get rid of all of the talent that's doing all the great work over at Funko? And this just goes to show you that they're yet another company that was a victim of the pandemic. We have talked about this for months on end, years now, where Funko was incredibly popular because everybody was at home. They ended up making a lot of Funko Pops and other Funko products and they got left holding the bag because people went back to work and started buying, you know, food and things they needed. Are you judging me for eating Funko Pops during the pandemic? And with this rash of bull that's happened this week, it just looks more and more like Funko is going to continue to sink its ship. The whole thing is over. It's done. I was reading an article the other day that San Diego Comic-Con wasn't even that big of a win for Funko. It was more of a loss for them. Really? Yeah, because they set up that really big city inside of San Diego Comic-Con. Then they had fun days. All that stuff is super expensive. Yeah, you're right. So they're basically themselves over. I don't know what they're doing. It makes no sense. Now we're seeing that people are getting laid off. So the talent is being laid off. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, they're going to send their work overseas now. And that is a big point. But before I get to the point that I'd like to make, I do want to stop you right there because I know what you're thinking. Why do we care about the inside of Funko as long as they're making my pops? I'm happy because we're talking about people's livelihood. As collectors, I completely understand. We are here to buy the products. We're here to collect the products. We don't always need to hear about what's going on inside. I don't like the idea of this company that screams fun. We want to have fun. We have this huge event every year called fun days. Everything's fun. Everything's great. But then inside it's like a sweatshop. Well, actually, the biggest point that I wanted to bring up is that Funko was always talking about family. They print out t-shirts that say Funko family all over it. And then you hear about all the crap that's happening behind the scenes. Well, maybe you haven't yet. We've given you a little bit. We haven't given you a lot, but there has been a lot going on behind the scenes and it's wild. And when people comment on our videos saying we're being so negative, you have to understand it's because we're hearing about all the negative things that's happening on the interior of Funko. It's hard not to be angry when you're hearing the things that we're hearing. Yeah, and let me tell you something, Funko. You don't treat family the way that you're treating your employees right now. Giving them one day notice, sending them an email towards the end of the day, sending them home, having them worry all night about whether their job is secure, their livelihood is secure, making them wait for you guys to bring them into meetings all day long. That is not how you treat family and it's not fair and it's not going to make you any richer. But to your point about the overseas stuff and cutting profits, as collectors, even if you don't care about the politics and the layoffs or whatever going on inside of Funko, what you should care about are the way that your pops are going to start to look very, very soon. Cutting corners means cutting corners in all different ways. So not only are they cutting a ton of their talent and sending their work overseas, when you see Funko Pops, they are going to start to get more and more bland. You know how a lot of superheroes and anime stuff, they're in those really cool poses and they have like energies around them and things? That all costs extra money because that's uh, extra plastic. No you know boy. what else costs extra money? Metallic paint. You know what else costs extra money? Extra detail. You know what else costs extra money? Make a new mold. And guess what? They are going to be reusing the f out of their molds, which is a big complaint by Funko fans because generally when Funko reuses a mold, it's not like they're actually like painting cool sh on these pops. They're literally just changing colors up or making like a sword glow. Well, I want to talk about NFT Funko Pops very soon in an upcoming video because previews at Fun Days showed some House of the Dragon Funko Pops and those common Funko Pops versus the NFT Funko Pops is absolute 
and trash. You all have been asking for that, unfortunately. All this crazy sh has come out recently, so we haven't been able to cover it, but I promise you we will be talking about that in an upcoming video. But we do want to just extend our condolences to everybody who was laid off at Funko today, who may possibly be laid off at some point in the future. We are so sorry and we hope that you find something awesome because you are super duper talented. And if there's something that we can do as a channel, please reach out and let us know. We will do everything that we can. We will promote you right here on the channel. We do not have to give your name. We could at least talk about your skills and mention that you were previously at Funko and I'm sure there's a company out there that would absolutely love to have your talent. So reach out at gasslecast at gmail.com. Should we change it to gasslecast? at indeed.com. Okay, so this video got very depressing, but let's brighten things up. Let's have some fun. It isn't going to be an entire video of gloom and doom. Let's take a look at some SDCC exclusives and do some unboxing. What do you think about that? Isn't it doom and gloom? I think you could say I think it's doom and gloom. I don't think I need this. I don't think I need you. I don't need you either. How about that? How would your ass get wiped? It's true. So this package was sent by our friend Lindsay all the way from San Diego Comic-Con. I finally have my two-pack Rodimus and Galvatron. Look at that. How awesome is this, Heather? They look so cool. Oh my God, they do. And I got the limited San Diego Comic-Con sticker. Because I'm a sticker, oh mother f I mean, does it really matter? Do stickers matter anymore? I forgot about fun days. Do we really have to talk about that shit again? Do you remember their boxes, like their two-pack boxes being thicker? Yeah, beefier? they used to be thicker. They used to be beefier. I think these boxes are actually a little bit cheaper than they used to be. Cutting corners again, aren't you, Funko? Soon it'll just be paper. Oh man, I love these. Okay, by the way, this Rodimus is not the same as Hot Rod, which was an NFT Funko Pop, although, he does look like uh, the same character because it is the same character. See his cannon? It has a like, glitter in it. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he's got glitter inside of his cannon, it looks like. That's badass. It's just like the, the toy. A lot of people are complaining about this Funko Pop. Do you remember why? Was it his face? It was his head is not purple like the cartoon, but this is based on the actual toy. I'm feeling like I'm gonna TF hard. Speaking of TFing, our amazing friend Sam reached out to us and he said, I saw that you already got the Transformers 2 pack, but I got you guys another one anyway. Wow. There you go. Oh my God, look, I got another one. How hard are you uh, gonna TF? I've already decided that one of these two packs will be going to a lucky patron this weekend during our Patreon call, which we do every single month with our patrons. So check out patreon.com slash gasocast and show your support. Okay, so he did leave a note, but I was just really excited to get you your other two pack. Dear Chris and Heather, I found this postcard in the hotel and thought I would write to you. Please accept these pops as a gift of my appreciation to you guys. I expect nothing in return except that you continue to make a amazing content and figures. Hope to see you soon and remember make mischief. Oh, that's awesome, Sam. Heart, Sam S. I know Whoa. that heart was for me. I heart you too, Sam. Oh, thank you so much, Sam. You're so sweet. Isn't that pretty? I'm really, really, really excited. I didn't think I would get this. Oh my God. I got the Powerpuff Girls three pack from wow. SECC. Oh, they're awesome. So this they is a thousand so count. They look so good. Yeah, they look good. Look at those. Well, hold on really quick. Funko says they are a 1,000 piece pop. <laughs> it we, might not be. We don't know. So speaking of these paper thin boxes, This check one's this a one thick out. one. Yes, yep. that's what I'm saying. This one's a thicker box. This is like paper thin. It's like they are cutting corners on some of their Funko Pops, see? The Transformer one is obviously the same, like, I don't know, thickness as a regular Funko Pop. I'm looking around for a two pack. There's mother and it comes down to my Funko Pop. I'm telling you, they're doing it on purpose. Yeah, look, here's my look, Phil and Lil. Oh my God, look, this is another two pack, see, it's thick. Okay, hold on, my Peter Pan is not. Because they started cutting corners that were around then maybe. Must have been. This but actually feels like a, this feels flimsy in comparison to this. Feel this. Yeah, this one, like even though it's thinner, it yep. still feels. I'm telling you, they're cutting corners. This is like the evolution of two packs. It is. So you have like the hard two pack, the right. medium two pack, and then the soft too bad. Like, I don't I don't even like holding this. Anyway, I have to pull these out because I'm so excited about oh, these. Oh man, they're so cool looking. I 
love the way that these look. So we have Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. These are the exact pops that we got in common form semi-recently. I want to say like sometime last year. And my favorite part of these pops are the stands. So typically the stands are like clear. These are in like their flying colors. Yeah, these are awesome. I'm not a Powerpuff Girl fan, but I love these Funko Pops. They're awesome. They're amazing. Have you ever seen like images of the Powerpuff Girls flying? Yes. Yeah, because they have like the colors. Thank you so much, Sam. I am in love with these. They're incredible. And you're giving a prize away to one lucky patron, which I think is great. Our friend Ryan sent us a couple of these guys. Blockbuster Rewind Freddy Funko figures. So oh. the chase for that is an alien, but I have yes. no idea what the chase for this is supposed to be. Yes, and initially, because there were glams, but the robot didn't have a chase on the glams. I have no idea. I didn't go searching for it. I don't know what the chase on the robot is. Okay. Okay, so this is a common one. I have a common one too. Yeah. Oh man, this guy is so cool. He's awesome. Isn't he cool? That's a really neat looking figure. He's a Freddy Funko robot. I really like this one a lot. That might be my favorite rewind that I've seen yet. I love him so much. <laughs> He's awesome. Isn't he adorable? He yeah. has like a cute little astronaut smile. A lot of people complain about like how just... Small they are? No, not sm just like compact they are. Okay. Like, but I love his pose. The I what are you I doing? I cannot hold on to them. These are growing on me a lot. Blockbuster Rewind, Funko. I keep calling them sodas. I call them sodas. In every video, I call them sodas. And I have to cut it. Oh, we say Blockbuster Rewind Soda. I know you do. So I'm just going to keep calling them that. These are awesome Blockbuster Rewind Sodas. I'm telling you, Heather, I think they're on to something with these dumb things. All right, so we have another box from our friend Steven Sklansky. Oh, my Rivals gosh. Game. So another friend is actually sending these to us. This is Star Wars Rivals, and they gave this away during fun days. But our friend Nathan Bakken sent this one as well. So the extra one one will be given away during our Patreon call as well. That's so I want awesome. one lucky person out there to get their hands on these because these are freaking awesome. These are the figures that are inside. Tell oh. me, tell me that Scout Trooper isn't the coolest freaking piece ever. It was so sad not to have you SDCC. It would have been amazing to hang with you and have you at fun days go wolves. But since you couldn't make it, here is your constellation prize. I know you really wanted this bad boy and I had a lot of help making sure I got in the right line at the right time to be able to get it for you. This was my first SDCC and it was amazing and I hope you have your first experience in the near future. Man, what a sweet guy, seriously. Heather, I am sorry I didn't ask you if you wanted anything from SDCC, but I did include a special thing for you since you didn't have him and he will go great with your Jessica Rabbit. Hopefully I can hang with you when I come out to DC next year. Enjoy the toys, Steven Sklansky. What a guy. Aww. Seriously, that guy's a legend. So here's what he got me and I cannot wait to unbox this. I've been waiting for this. This is the DF-209 Dumpster Fire which looks like the Ed 209 from Robocop, That's which is my favorite, awesome. one of my favorite films of all time. Here's your soda. Oh, Roger Rabbit! And then there's another letter from another Sklansky. It says, Dear Heather and Chris, thank you for the amazing content. There are two items in the box, one for Chris and one for Heather. I heard Heather talking about how cute a certain pop was from Fun Days and it didn't really fit my collection and I didn't want to leave her out of the fun. Make sure this guy doesn't get too close to any fires. Chris, I know how much you love Transformers and when I got Metallic Megatron, I knew I had to reach out to you. I'm glad we were able to make a trade and I could help you keep your Transformer set complete. I know it is going to a good home and please be careful with all the TFing that I know is gonna happen. <laughs> you guys rock and we hunt together. Love you guys, Robert Skolanski. Dude, you're That's amazing. So Thank you. So this is the infamous Megatron. Yes. That I've been talking about all week long. And by the way, again, we were reached out to. He understood the sticker situation and we wanted to make the trade regardless. We just wanted to come on here and like use that whole thing as an example. We do not mind at all. And we're so stoked for Chris to have his Megatron, even if the sticker's a lie. But look at this. Oh my God. Yes. I knew that's what he was talking about, this but is, I didn't want to get my hopes this up. This is all she has been talking about is S'mores Boy. Look at this. It's Freddy Funko as Megatron. Eh. What? We're Freddy talking Fun about S'mores Freddy Boy. Freddy Funko as Megatron, 500 piece metallic, but we don't know what the real count is. We're, we're hoping it's 500. I don't know. It doesn't it's matter. It's somewhere He's between so cool. 500 and like 6,000 or 7,000. We don't know. Look, now I got the, the, guy, the guys together. Look at that. 
How do you like that? I got Boys all. Boys are back in town. I got Boys all the Optimus Prime Freddies. Now I got myself a Megatron Freddy. And Funko, if you're not too mad at me yet, make me a Freddy Funko as Starscream. I would love you for. Well, I would love you for a little while, I think. I just cannot get over this piece. He is the cutest <laughs> pop that I have ever seen in my life. Can I just see him for a second? No! Oh, I gotta look at him all close. I, I need, haven't got to see him all I close. need to take him in. Hold on. Take him in? That's What okay. does that mean? Not like that. He's a little fucking boy scout, Chris. Don't make it weird. It's a toy, Heather. He has a marshmallow head. He has... <laughs> He has a net. He's got a glow-in-the-dark sticker, a glow-in-the-dark chase sticker, a flopped sticker, a Funko exclusive sticker, a chase sticker, except they're all like little patches on his outfit. And he has the official Proto Scout handbook and a f***ing hat. Oh my God. If Funko could just keep making stuff like this, I'd be super happy. I love when they make their own characters that are just like silly, weird, and just fun like this and cute. Yeah, they're really good at doing that. The, well, the artists, who knows, are they, they even there? They were really good at doing that. <laughs> stuff like this, with all of these sweet details and stuff, are things you're not going to get when corners are cut. Like, this pop has made me, like, happier than a lot of things that I've received recently. Probably any Funko like, Pop you've ever gotten. I've yeah. never seen you so happy. <laughs> I love my entire collection, but I really think that this is one of my favorites. And I don't, I don't think we highlighted this yet. Like, we were so excited about the Megatron that you just skipped right over my Roger. This is f***ing adorable. Here's my DF-209. So this is one of those things you actually have to build and put stickers on. Like, they made it like an old school toy. No way! Yes. So I don't know... Oh my goodness, look. Oh! And it looks like it's all, like, magnetized. No, I don't, I don't think you have to put stickers on it. Yeah, you do. It's a rat cat! The rat is actually driving this thing. That's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna need that rat. Oh my goodness, this thing is awesome! Oh, his legs came off. Can you grab those? No, I'm doing stickers. What was that? <gasps> you actually open the dumpster and the rat goes inside. Yeah. And that's how he rides it around. You didn't know that? Oh my goodness, that's so friggin' awesome. And he has like a little jet pack on the back. The legs have a hard time staying on, but that's okay, because he's just gonna stand on your shelf. Look at this piece. He's How amazing. cool is he? Oh my God, I love this. Thank you, Steven Skolansky, for picking this up for me. There's another robot by 100 Soft that my friend Brian picked up for me, and I'll be getting that this weekend, so you'll see that in an upcoming video. This might be the coolest dumpster fire I've ever seen. I love a lot of dumpster fires. This one is the top of the line for me. Oh, you can you can shut the mouse in yes. there too. Yeah, and look, oh. this piece right here is magnetic. Ooh. And this piece is magnetic. Yeah, I felt that one moving. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? I thought he was going to be like this So big. did I. I did too. I'm so glad that he's not. Uh, me too. It's the same size as a dumpster fire, but it just has legs on it. I feel like they're a little bit bigger. Oh, no. Right. They're exactly they the same are. size. Man, I got to tell you, dumpster fire, you killed it with this piece. Holy crap. Let us know what you think about all of these SDCC exclusives in the comment section down below. I think... Our friends are amazing. You guys came through in a really big way. And I can't thank you enough for picking this stuff up for us. We didn't even go to SCCC. SCCC came to us. And guess what? Fun Days is coming to us with our at-home box of fun boxes that we are unboxing this Sunday. Yes, that is right. We are unboxing pieces from the at-home box of fun that were also at the in-person box of fun, <laughs> just with a different sticker. And we're gonna have a ton of friends live with us this Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, and we are all going to unbox our boxes of fun 
fun. We'll do live trades. We'll discuss the sticker fiasco. It's going to be a blast. You don't want to miss it this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Also in the comments section, please send your love to all of the employees over at Funko who have lost their job today. We feel so awful about this situation and we really do feel like this is just such a bad decision by Funko by letting go so many people. So much talent is over there and they're just, see you later. That's what they're doing and it's up. Just know that we appreciate you guys and all of the love that you put into all of these amazing Funko pieces. Thank you. Thank you guys for staying until the very end of the video. We'd like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon because you guys are amazing. Retro Game G, Nathan Bakken, Clarissa V, Adam Maitland, Carlos Campbell, Pop Cop 765, The Disgruntled Octopus, Steven Anderson, Celeste Crawford, and Andy Veloff. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock.